Hi, my name's Dan, CEO and founder of Inspire Group. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of things. First of all, cognitive learning. And secondly, how we might apply some understanding around cognitive learning to how to create meaningful and impactful learning experiences. So the first point, cognitive learning. What is cognitive learning and why are people talking about more these days than possibly they were 10, 15 years ago? So in summary, cognitive learning is brain-based learning. Hang on a minute. So hasn't learning always been about the brain? Isn't that the way we all learn? Isn't that the way animals learn? Well, yes, it is. So why are we talking about it more these days? It's our view that people are talking about it more because we understand more about the brain. The advances in, in, in neuroscience and the more that we learn about the human brain, we can start to apply that to learning and make learning more impactful and meaningful. So what could be an example of that? Some of you folks, or many of you folks, have probably heard about cognitive bias and how we all have cognitive bias and a lot of us, some of the time, or some of us a lot of the time, aren't aware of our own bias and how that influences our behaviour and the decisions that we make. So, to overcome that, um, some smart people, I'm not sure, invented the implicit association test. So what that does is it makes us and it, it assesses the strength that we make between associations. So it might be an association of uh, around gender bias. So we might see an image of a female and we might decide whether she's a doctor or a nurse. Interesting. Um, what that also does is it makes us make those associations very, very quickly to avoid us thinking too hard about the association we're actually making. So what that does is it seeks to uncover more of our conscious bias, or the implicit bias if you like, than making decisions and making associations that we believe would be socially more acceptable um, to our peers. Uh, we developed that recently with a client with the key learning outcome of helping people uncover their own bias, implicit and unconscious. Okay, so cognitive learning advances in neuroscience. So what does that mean as a learning designer? What should, should you be looking out for? So it's our contention that you should be looking out for those articles, research papers, news feeds, newspaper articles on neuroscience and then thinking about how do I connect my understanding of neuroscience and learning about the human brain and human behaviour to my learning design. Because we believe that's where the goal is.